there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Chris Rock, who has come out of the bushes after his comedians, uh, his friends were defending his honor uh, on Will Smith. And we're going to talk about this because... I think Chris Rock is so triggered that he misinterpreted a scene in the movie, and, and we're going to discuss. So it says the following, this is coming from Yahoo, however, this is everywhere, um, and it's referenced from In Touch Magazine, it says, Chris Rock thinks Will Smith, including nod to Oscar slap in Bad Boys 4, is a quote, cheap stunt. Will Smith claims he cha he's a changed man since slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars in 2022, and even seemingly referenced the infamous slap in his latest movie bad boys for however the addition to the script was reopen old wounds with chris who was not buying wool's reinvention act one bit chris thinks it's pretty cheap stunt and he is telling people how lame he finds it a source exclusively tells in touch it's a classic case of will making light of a horrific situation will's playing the victim it was the lowest point of his career but that's no excuse will while chris um, this sounds like a like stephen a smith gave this exclusive Allegedly. Uh, while Chris has made a point to keep a low profile since the headline making moment, he finds Will's attention seeking nauseating. According to the source, it aggravates him that people keep bringing it up. He suffered as much as Will, and now Will has turned it into a funny scene in his movie. As far as Chris is concerned, it's more proof that Will's a total piece of work who deserves all the crap he's gotten. Chris isn't going to let it go. If there's a way to get back at Will down the line, he'll take it. The so I want to say this, spoiler alert for those of you who have not seen um, Bad Boys Ride or Die. Uh, there is a reference, well, I don't even want to say this because it's not true. There is a scene where there is a slap in the film and the slap happens repeatedly, but it had to do with the storyline at hand of what was going on, of what Will's character was going through. It had nothing to do with being a reference to the Oscar slap. In fact, it wasn't even a part of the original script, and uh, this then the you know director told them to keep going um, as they were continuing the scene and thought it was a funny moment to include in the film however you guys this had nothing to do uh, you know what's so funny when i saw the movie i wasn't even thinking about the slap at all because i saw articles trying to like correlate it to something and, and 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 i wasn't seeing the receipts that they were seeing so i'm a little confused as to why chris rock now is taking this angle and there's a couple of things right so first i think chris and his friends his comedian friends were expecting bad boys ride or die to flop uh because of the oscars incident um since will is banned from the oscars for 10 years however this is will smith's first major film he had emancipation after the oscar slap however they were too scared to put it out and in, into the normal national release that will smith usually gets because they were worried about about people not showing up when the other piece was that people didn't want to see another SLAVE movie. But nonetheless, it's funny, nobody said anything about Will Smith. Nobody referenced this Oscar slap in a couple of years. But the moment the movie went number one, you guys, and exceeded expectations, I believe made, what, almost $60 million its opening weekend and brought people back to the box office. And then globally, currently as we speak, it is nearing $300 million, uh, gross worldwide, you guys. And now all of a sudden everybody wants to come out the bushes. First it was Stephen A. Smith to give the dog whistle to the others uh, to come out and bash Will Smith and say that Will Smith needs to apologize to the black community and explain to the black community while he slapped Chris Rock. We know why he slapped him, right? But it's funny because Chris Rock, I mean, no shade, but you've benefited from this as well. You got 
um, 20 million from Netflix and I think 40 million overall with the success and the tour uh, from Selective Outrage where you're calling uh, Will Smith's wife the B word and, and all the things and you, you do your set in Baltimore where Jada's from. So, so you're still very much like, you know, into this thing with Jada Pinkett Smith and you now want to get on your platform or, or talk, oh no, excuse me, talk through other people uh, to voice your disappointment and that if you have an opportunity to get Will Smith back, you would. Well, you had an opportunity to press charges. Oscars night, you had an opportunity to press charges if if you felt that you were wronged and, and disrespected and traumatized and all of these things, you were asked at the Oscars whether or not do you want to press charges against Will Smith, we will arrest him right here and there and remove him from the theater. And you said no, but you can't get pissed off now when Will Smith has a successful movie and now all of these people want to all of a sudden come out the woodworks and, and now bring up the Oscar slap again. It's giving desperation. It's giving projection. It's giving not moving on. And here's the thing. I have been vocal that I was against the slap, didn't agree with the slap. Um, however, it wasn't going to stop me from liking Will Smith. It wasn't going to stop me from seeing Will Smith's movie. And by the way, I'm a huge Martin Lawrence fan, so there was no way I was going to miss any Bad Boys movie in existence. They can make a hundred Bad Boys movies, and I will be there at the theater to see it. And that's independent of the slap or independent of Chris Rock. But those of you who have seen Bad Boys Ride or Die and see the slap that they're referring to, I actually didn't even think anything of it when I watched it. I thought, like I said, it was pertaining to the storyline at hand and what Will Smith's character was going through and dealing with and how he needed to have his own resurgence, had to need to have his own, you know, slap in the face, like literally to get himself out of it was like the context of the scene. I wasn't thinking, oh my God, this is a reference to the Oscars in 2022. No, 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 no. I think it's a reach, you guys. I think it's a reach. Like I said, I think this is a smear campaign to just dim the light of the success of the Bad Boys film. Because here's the thing. If the movie bombed, if the movie flopped, if the movie underperformed and didn't even, you know, make a big back what they cost for the film, which was $100 uh, I bet you these people would be on the mute challenge and would be laughing quietly saying, ha, 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 Will Smith's career is over and all these things. But now that Will Smith is receiving positive reviews and people are going to the theaters to see this still now all of a sudden you want to try to damper it you want to try to you know put dirt on it and all these things here's the thing you both are grown men as far as i'm concerned if you feel so strongly why are we talking via the media you guys have each other's phone numbers you guys know each other your families have worked together before on projects and tv shows and things so again if you don't want to talk it out as men, uh, this whole thing where we're just going to feed the media and you're going to use your comedian friends to complain on your behalf and you're going to use Stephen A. Smith to complain on your, on your behalf, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Like, I thought this was done when, you know, Chris Rock took, you know, a million years uh, to put out selective out outrage. Like, I thought we were done after that, right? But, but if you're so hurt or if you don't feel that Will Smith's apology was sufficient to you, uh, you, you guys can either hash it out or, or not hash it out or not talk to each other again. But, but again, these quotes to the media, anytime Will Smith has anything positive happen for him or any type of success, we need to reference the slap every time. No, 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 no. We don't reference the time all the times that people were uncomfortable with certain things Chris Rock has said in his uh, comedic sketches that was disrespectful, that was offensive, uh, that he started out being more so pro-black earlier in his comedic career and now has gotten a more conservative approach and now allows certain comedians to say the N-word who are mel-anemic and he does not correct them. He doesn't check them, right? Do we want to talk about that, Chris Rock? right? So, so don't give me this, oh my gosh, you know, he's taking cheap shots at me. Well, what about the people that are melanin mick right in front of your face saying the N-word in front of you and you don't have a problem with it, right? 
What about the, uh, you know, the takes that you have that is a complete 180 from the approach to your comedy earlier in your career? Let's talk about that, right? And, and all the things, we can go there. We can go down on, on some of the things that was controversial, that was inappropriate, but you got away with it because you were a comedian and it was basically a negative against the black community and specifically black women. So therefore, you got away with it. But had it been something like what Dave Chappelle has talked about, oh, there would have been backlash, right? There would have been severe backlash. So you've gotten over quite a bit as far as I'm concerned. But to try to make a scene in the movie about yourself when it had nothing to do with you, when it had nothing to do with the Oscars, it had nothing to do with the Oscar slap from 2022, and you wait until the movie is making $300, um, not $300, <laughs> I think that's what they hope for. They hope for this to make $300. Uh, but $300 million globally to now come out and say something? Oh, oh, you thought that your friends Rob Schneider and, and Stephen A. Smith, that they did enough damage that people were just not going to go to the movies afterwards, after their comments, and, and more people are going to the movies to see this, to see it break records, to see whether or not it's going to surpass uh, the third installment of Bad Boys and all the things, because I believe that gross worldwide four hundred twenty. Six million, but again, that was pre pandemic. But nonetheless, you guys, nonetheless, uh, you know, we have to talk about you know what's happening here, right? And I, uh, you know, people again, you could have done an interview, you could have, you know, said what you needed to say a few, you know, a few times, as far as I'm concerned. But don't wait until a movie comes out by Will Smith. Well, technically, this is a second major movie that's come out since the slap. Now you want to say something. But you guys were on the mute challenge when Emancipation came out. Didn't hear from you guys at all. Didn't hear from you guys that, oh, Will Smith, you know, he shouldn't he shouldn't be doing movies anymore. And he needs to, you know, do something more to really apologize the way we want him to about the slap. No, 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 no. You guys need to get it together. You need to get out your feelings. If you're not going to talk to each other as grown men, I don't want to hear it. Stop sending your comedic friends to the media to defend your honor on your behalf and stop sending anonymous quotes to the media about your thoughts on Will Smith when you are a grown man, 60 years old, and you can call him yourself. You can get in front of the camera yourself and say what you have to say. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.